Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love, and light to you. And thank you for your support and coming to see what I'm about. And please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Even hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're a returning sub, thank you for coming back and supporting me and my channel. Love and light and blessings to you also and many more to both. And thank you for the support. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Seek your passion. Guys, it is just so much stuff that's going on. First of all, let me extend my condolences out to uh, Aiden's family. Uh, Lindsay Lacardi, I think that's her name. I I'm sorry if I did not pronounce her name right. Um, her son was three years old and he lost his battle of cancer over the weekend, which was really hard. Um, just still even talking about it and just reading the stories of this child. I've heard, you know, St. Jude's and, you know, different things. I've, I'm a cancer survivor myself. It wasn't that intense, but I had problems, um, in my organs to where I had to have some removed because of the cancer. So just knowing what different stages of cancer and cancer is just such an ugly thing that it's sad, it's really sad that somebody has to go through that because of funding and not having lack of money. I promise you, when things get straight, that's gonna be another thing that I'm gonna get straight because no parent should have to bury their child. Nobody should have to bury their child like that. That baby didn't even get a chance to really live their life. And it's just, it still has an effect on many people just hearing this story and it's sad that this child had to make a pathway for all these other children that are going through this and it's sad that this one child had to be sacrificed for that and that's really sad and also my prayers go out to the people that are in Texas that had the mass shooting yesterday it's like 24 or 16 or something like that I'm not sure because it's like after I heard that I had to walk off because it was already too much hearing about Aiden's story and then have to turn around and hear that so it's like seeking your passion is always that's what my subject's going to be about today seeking passion because I've always wanted to go out and help people and losing my mother to cancer also um it, it scared me away to say, you know what, I wanted to be a nurse, but after seeing my mom basically deteriorate for like two and a half months of praying and asking God to, you know, take this pain away from her, and then my prayers was answered, but just not in the way that I thought it would be. So after dealing with all this stuff of, you know, death in the family and, you know, uh, then now my father and all these things, it made me want to do this. This is my passion. I seek my passion because it is coming from my heart. You know, a lot of us have jobs that we're this, just there because it's a job. You know, you nobody wants to be at a job. It's just a job to you. You, you have to enjoy the things that you're doing. You have to, you know, be able to look forward to work every day but it's not work to you. And this, what I'm doing, making these videos doesn't seem like work to me. It's just something I love doing. And it's just seeking your passion. is just like, you know, making a pathway for a better tomorrow. Cause it's just like reading these stories. It's just so many things that I want to do to make this planet a better place. You know, um, make, make people be the better person that is supposed to be, be the better version of yourself. And it just makes me feel really good when I can reach out and do a lot of videos. Just like yesterday, I made a video out um, and sent it to uh, Yankee uh, Outdoor Adventures and doing a, get ready to do a meet and greet. And I was just like, you know what, this is something I want to do. And it's just like so many different people that have different YouTube channels, you know, their gaming channels, you know, their, their, uh, their, uh, 420 channels, different things like that, the do-it-yourself channels, you know, 
all these different ones it's just like oh we're all coming together from different basically different subjects into one and that's why i enjoy <laughs> my cat came flying by and kind of caught me off guard but um it's just knowing that i'm doing this and it's something that i enjoy doing it it really humbles me it just lets me know things are sometimes they have to get worse to get better and I know I'm going to try my damnedest <laughs> to get us to where we need to be. At least do my part on what I need to do. But it's just like different situations we're in that puts us to where we need to be to reflect on what we need to change on ourselves. You never meet people by accident or just by coincidence or by chance. There's always a purpose why people come in your life. There's maybe a mirror image of things that they might need to change or something that you might need to change things that that will you will learn lessons and blessings from to be stronger to be the person that you are and it's just we sometimes we get to that point where we fail at things that we just want to drop our hands of it and just like you know walk away i give up because there's a lot of times i've done that i'm not gonna lie I, there's times especially with this situation i'm going through with my family you know it makes you want to walk away because it becomes too much it becomes too much but it was just something I know I could not give up because I fought too hard I've always wanted to know who my family was and just knowing that I did videos and you know my mission was to search to go home you know maybe somebody will hear my story and it will get connected back to my family and not realizing it just took a turn for the better it didn't take a turn for the worse it just expanded like you know what yeah you're this is your mission on getting home being reunited with your family being acknowledged you know all these things but then when you're making these videos and you're seeing the comments and how many views you're you know you're just manifesting that quick on how much awareness that you're sending out how much positivity and good vibes you're sending out and good frequencies that it made a positive impact on the world from different parts of life and it's just it's a good feeling so i'm just like you know what this is not a job this is my passion. This is my life. And I, I'm not going to let nobody ruin that for me. I'm not going to keep quiet. Because this is something I was supposed to do. I always kept on saying for the last few days that I've been seeing the number 13. 13, 13, 13, 13. And I'm like, oh my God, is something about to happen to me? Is this, you know, because when we hear the number 13, we cringe. But then when I looked it up, it has something to do with the Twin Flame reunion on top of Mary Magdalene when she found Fatima and the world wasn't ready every 13th of the month or you know whatever would come to that significance of 13 and it was always a good thing even though you know there was a movie Friday the 13th you know people were like oh gosh you know I'll be quick I'm like Shh, I'm about to stay home and stuff like that but it's just like I noticed that 13 been coming up and it's just like good things has been happening to me even I have a, have a tattoo it was supposed to be a panther and it looks like black cat and I'm just like oh no but then I have black cats all around me and they love me so and it's just like okay they're they're, they're okay they're God's creatures but it's just like seeing this it was just like the world was lost in knowledge and it was just like I had to write this script and I, I mean my heart started pounding I'm like oh my god I just finished my book um when dove when my dove finally cried and it was just amazing like oh my gosh you know it was that lost knowledge that the world is ready for but they're not really exactly ready for it yet because it was just like I keep on getting the signs like you've got to hurry up and finish your project you got to hurry up and finish your project so I had to go ahead and finish my book because it was something that that really needed to be done so it's just so many different things that has came forward to the forefront to me and it's just so amazing and so beautiful it's just like life is past what we see things that we don't see things we don't look for that's in the norm you know the things that it could be an ordinary thing that can have so much significance in our lives that can really do an impact but i'm not trying to hold you guys up today it's just like live your passion live your life live live the better you Live in your truth, walk your truth, and things will never go wrong. I promise you. Even though I might not look right right now, I might not seem clear. Trust me, everything just because you don't see it, don't mean it's not working out for you.
I will talk to you later. Oh, and today I'm listening to Japanese vibrations like Kuto. I just, I love that because it's just like thinking about the Japanese orchids and they have the, I always wanted to go to Japan because they have loud colors and I love that. It's just like a, a Japanese New York. They always said that's like the, the um, international New York going there and I always wanted to go because it's like the fashion capital of the world and they always have these eccentric things like abstract feng shui things and I love it so um I will talk to you guys later many blessings and love and light to you namaste and I will keep you guys in my prayers and as you I hope you do the same and my thoughts again go out to the people in Texas and Aiden and Lizzie like and subscribe and hit the notification button and even drop a comment and I will talk to you later. Peace and be loud.